Hello everyone, James Pesca here with Peak Condition and I am in the comfort of my own home and I am going to shoot another home workout today and the reason for this is I actually did not have time to get into the gym today. So why not shoot a video while I'm at home with all of you doing the workout alongside with me which is even going to motivate me that much more while I'm doing it to work hard. And what I'm going to use today also, let me just scooch out of the way here if you can see them. I have a mismatched pair of dumbbells. Oh, there they are. Mismatched pair of dumbbells that I found, and they are my wife's. So they're actually only five pounds each. And I feel like everybody has a pair of five pound dumbbells hanging around somewhere. But even though they're only five pounds, we're still gonna get a tough workout in, we're still gonna kick some butt, and we're still gonna get some results. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just back up here. Here we go, starting with the warm up. All right, so first thing I want you to do out there is turn the feet out. We're sitting into a squat. We're extending our arms up and we're just gonna hold here for a sec. All right, I'm coming up. Next, I'm going to sit into that squat. I'm gonna put one hand down, I'm gonna rotate up, holding there. And then I'm gonna switch, other hand, rotate up. All right, and I'm standing up again. Also, I don't wanna to make too much noise because I have neighbors below. So don't worry about jumping around and all that other nonsense that I usually do in the gym because you're not going to wake up the neighbors. Or in this case, if they're sleeping too bad, it's only like six o'clock, so I don't care if I wake them up. All right, next, I want you to get into a wide side lunge. We're just gonna hold here. So basically, we're just working different planes here, opening up our hips, opening up our shoulders, our back, all those good areas. So that's important to do, right? All right, next thing I want you to do is get into a lunge. One arm down, rotate up, hold there. All right, switching it up, stepping out, rotating up. All right, I'm gonna stand back up. Next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna inch out, so I'm gonna get into a push-up position, inch my hands out, and I'm gonna inch my legs up, so I'm getting that release on my hamstring and my calves. Inch back and inch back up. So I'll do that again. So I'm gonna inch out with my hands. I'm in the push-up position, inching my legs up. Here I'm trying to keep my legs extended so I feel that release in my calves and my hamstring holding there. Now I'm inching my feet back out. I'm in a push-up position, inching my hands back up, and I'm standing up. All right, excellent. Next, I just want you to do a couple trunk rotations. There we go. Feels good on the old back. Oh yeah. Okay, next I'm going to do the flexion. And guess what, I actually have some new lighting in here. Yeah, so hopefully the lighting's a little better. Although I still have my old school overhead uh, lamp above me, which is shining down, so that might be taken away from some of the great new lighting that I have that you can't see, which is off camera. All right, now I'm doing some shoulder rotations, forward, backward. A little trunk rotation. All right, so next we're doing a couple external hip rotations. And if there was a little cutscene there, my wife actually just tried calling me and it stopped recording. So that's not good for business. All right, now I'm doing a couple internal rotations. Okay, a couple little hip swivels here. I could do a little hop or I could just kind of stay in place and just do that. All right, so now I'm gonna move forward, make sure it's recording. All right, good, it is recording. All right, now we're gonna start the workout. So what it's going to consist of today is a circuit, which is going to be seven, that's right, seven different exercises. We're gonna be on for 40 seconds, off for 20 seconds, and we're gonna kick some butt. And again, here's my dumbbells here, and actually they're both five, although they're different colors and slightly different sizes. They're both five pounds. And we're gonna utilize these dumbbells in the workout. All right, so first thing we're going to do before I start the timer, I'll give a little demo. We're gonna hold the plank. Once I'm in the plank, we're just doing the row, okay? Doing the row, I'm keeping my elbow at my side, just drawing up. So I wanna activate my back, my lats, my shoulder. So let's go ahead, get the timer going here. I have it all set up, and we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Here we go, holding the plank, and we're rolling. 
Good job out there. Keep going. Twenty seconds left. Halfway there. Look at that. Almost there. Ten seconds. And good. All right. Great job out there. Next, we're gonna take those dumbbells and we're gonna do some punches. So for the punches, so I'm down for a sec here. I can get in kind of a boxer stance, one foot forward. I'm just throwing forward with my left, then my right, just alternating, right? We're working our core, we're working our shoulders. I need to stop talking, because I need to go. Here we go. If you want to be real technical, you can kind of throw some combos in there, move around, right? Okay. Or I could just keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Whew, this is tough. Burning the shoulders. If it gets too hard, Go ahead and set those down. Just do body weight. 15 seconds left. We got this side view. Side view. Almost there. Keep going. Five seconds. Oh, man. That was tough. All right. But we did it, didn't we? Next, we are going to hold on to those dumbbells. We're going to get into a lunge position. So we want to get a nice low lunge, okay? So my legs activated, and then we're just gonna do a little pulse up and down. Here we go. So I'm coming down, back up, coming down, back up. And we're just keeping that kind of isometric action on our leg, which is tough. Oh yeah, this is burning. I'm feeling it. I know you're feeling it out there too. Keep going. We're almost there. Keep going, man, I'm feeling this burn. 10 more seconds. Almost there. And, oh, that's tough on both legs. Goodness, all right, next thing I want you to do, we're gonna sit on our butt, and what we're going to do, we're gonna lean back, Stabilize with our core, we have our dumbbells. We're gonna to rotate to one side, rotate to the other side, and then press the weights in the air. I'll give you an angled view. Oh, and we're up, here we go. Not much time to rest. Rotate, rotate, press. When I do that rotation, I'm getting the activation from my core, right? I'm gonna stabilize, press, rotate, rotate, press, rotate, rotate. And press, keep going out there. And press, rotate, rotate, press, rotate, rotate, press. We're almost there. Rotate, rotate, press, rotate, rotate, press. Almost there, and woo, good job. Done with that one. Next, we are going to do the windmill. So this is going to hit our hamstring, our glute, and the side of our trunk. What I'm gonna have you do, space the feet nice and wide, the side I'm going toward. My foot is pointed that way. Other leg's gonna stay planted. I'm gonna bend the knee, come down, form that 90 degree angle with my hips, come back up. And we're off already. Look at that. I was talking through my rest. That's not fair, jeez. All right, here we go. Also, I have this other dumbbell in the air. If that's too challenging, you can keep it at your side. I'm going to try to keep it in the air. It's going to force me to activate a little more, but that's all right. I'm willing to do that. 10 more seconds. Keep going. And excellent. Good job. Next, we are doing some Crunches, crunches, so we are on our back, knees bent, feet in the air, hands behind the head, but we're just crunching up, all right? Actually, no, that's too easy. Let's keep the weights in there. Here we go. And we're up. So all the weights are doing is just adding a little extra resistance to my core when I sit up.
Keep it going. 20 more seconds. We got this. I'll tell you what, it's getting really warm in here. Also, because I don't have the AC on because it's so loud. And I had to shut the window because some dog kept barking outside. So I am in a little sauna here. And good job. Next, go ahead, stand up. And we are going to squat, come back up, and curl. Squat curl. You know what? I'm going to use this couch just like before to touch my butt to. Kind of give me a nice range of motion that I'm shooting for. And I'm off. Boom. Up curl. And I'm up and up curling. It feels nice to just kind of plant my butt on there for a sec, you know? I don't get to sit during the day. I'm always standing. Lifting weights and rocks and other random ob objects. Keep going. 15 more seconds. Not really the rocks, but the weights. Okay, we're almost there. 10 seconds. And done! Woo! Alright, one round down. We're back at the top. I'm grabbing a sip of water. I'm prepared today. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Alright, oh. setting that down. Back to the plank. Plank with the row. Here we go. And we're off. Also, if it's too hard for you to, I'm holding on to the dumbbells, just placing them down and putting my body weight on them. Just set them right alongside and then grab it for the row. But if it's okay to just hold them, keep holding. Halfway there. Ten seconds. And woo, we did it. Next, we're back to the punches. This one is probably the toughest one with these dumbbells. I'll tell you what, my shoulders are burning. Here we go. We're up in T minus five seconds. Three, two, one. Ah, 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 ooh. And guess what? I purposely just did that because I'm probably going to use one of those for the thumbnail. So if you're still with me, shout out for the thumbnail. Yeah, all right. 15 seconds left. Woo. This is burning my shoulders. Five seconds. Oh my goodness, that was killer. All right, next, we're doing the lunge with the little pulse, all right? Switch legs this time. I'm going with my right. I had my left forward last time. We're up in five seconds. And we're up. This one's actually pretty tough for me. I'm still rehabbing an injury on my hip, so this is good. It's really focusing me. It's really focusing on my balance, activation. It's tough. Five seconds left. Good job. All right. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the rotation with the press. I'll go ahead and sit down. Let's face you guys this time. Why not? Facing you. We're up in three seconds. And we're up. Rotating, stabilize, rotate, stabilize, pressing up. Rotate, stabilize, stabilize. Press up. Here we go.
Rotating, pressing up. Almost there. Oh, all right. Great job out there. We're back up and we're doing the windmill next. And I'm sweating. Yes, I am. All right, so again, side I'm going toward, pointing my foot that direction, spacing my feet out a little wider. I'm gonna bend that knee, plant leg stays extended, and we're up from that 90 degree angle, back up. I'm down, and I'm up. Down and back up. Keep going. Halfway home. Ten seconds left. And good job. Next, we're doing the sit ups while we press the weight in the air. Actually, we're going to hold the weight in the air. And do the setups. We're up in 10 seconds. Get ready. Let's not delay. We're up in three, two, one, and we're up. Good job out there. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. And excellent. Next, we're doing the squat with the curl. I'm getting like a text message or something right now, so. Luckily, that did not shut the recorder off, so I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Squat curl. We're up in three, two, one. We're up. Squat. Curl. Curl. Curling. Squatting. Curling. Keep going. Push yourself. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. And done with round two. One round to go. Look at that. We're almost done. I need a quick sip of water. All right, we're up in five seconds. Plank row. I'm sweating. We're up. Keep it going. Almost there. 10 seconds. Woo! Yeah, next, we're back to the punches. Oh man, these ones burn. But we know that already. And we're gonna do it anyway. We're up to 10 seconds. We wipe some of the sweat off. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're up. Keep going. Keep inside deep. 
and facing you. Other side. 10 seconds. Oh, man, that was tough. All right. But we did it. Next, we're doing that lunge pulse. We're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. We're up in 10 seconds. Let's get it on. Here we go. All right, starting. Going into it. Keep going. Other leg. Ten seconds left. And yeah, done with that. All right, next we're doing the rotation to each side and pressing the weight up in the air. Let's do it. Here we go, we're up in eight seconds. And we're off. Keep going. Halfway home. You know what, actually, we can actually keep our legs extended on this one and lean back a little more if that's more effective. Almost there. And yeah, all right, next. We're back to the windmill. We're standing up. So we're going to switch halfway through on this one. We're up in 10 seconds. Here we go. Spacing the feet nice and wide. This arm's extended. I'm coming down. And I'm back up. Coming down. Back up. We've got this. Keep going. All right, other side. Just about there. And yeah, good job. Two more to go. Sit-ups next. I'm sweating, look at that. Sweating through the old shirt. That's all right. That means what we're doing is effective. Here we go. We're up in five seconds. Let's do it. Let's not wait. It. Halfway home. Ten seconds. And yes, last one. Squat curl. Last one coming at you in 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's pump it out on this last one, folks. Let's go boss to the wall. Part of my expression. Here we go. Banging them out.
Just about there, 15 seconds. And done! Great job, everybody. You did it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to back up, set these weights out of the way here, and we're going to do a nice little cool down, some stretching while I wipe the sweat off. All right. And I'm going to get a little sip of water. All right. Good job out there. First thing we're going to do, we're going to lie on our back. We're going to extend our legs, extend our arms, and then I'm going to draw my legs toward one side. I'm going to keep my hips on the ground. I'm going to flex my trunk toward that side, keeping my hips stationary. All right, slowly bring the trunk back, and then the legs. I'm going to flip around, do the same thing on the other side, arms extended, legs extended, draw my hips to the side, and flexing. Alright, slowly going back to the middle, next thing I'm going to do is cross one leg over, cross the other one on top of that, and I'm rotating. We're just going to hold here. All right, switching it up. Switching sides. Man, my legs are just straight sweat. That's good though. All right, next thing I want you to do is, first one we were in and when we warmed up, get in a wide, exaggerated lunge, outside arm down, rotate up. All right, slowly back, switching it up, and we're rotating up. All right, next thing I want you to do, feet turn it out, sitting into a nice deep squat. And I'm just gonna space my knees out with my elbows. Feels good inside my thighs. Feel the release, all right, next. Bending one knee, trying to extend the other leg, and reach forward. A lot of you are probably a lot more flexible than I am, so you'll do a much more pretty version. All right, switching it up. All right, then lastly, we're gonna finish off by stretching out the calves. So I'm up, butts in the air. My legs are extended. Keeping one heel on the ground, crossing the other leg over. All right, switching it up. And great job, everybody. We did it. So thanks for sticking with me there. Again, this was pretty attainable for everyone. All I had was my wife's five pound dumbbells, but I mean, look at me, dripping sweat. Oh, I'm all tuckered out here. So great job. Thanks for sticking with me. Again, remember to leave a comment, like, and share. And always remember, you don't have to be an athlete to train like an athlete. Let's do it! A little side angle here. Also the height. You can bring it a little higher. I'm going about head height or so. I'm not going to totally kill it. Keep going. 10 more seconds. And I'm just 